I'm currently loading up a roll of Ilford HP5. Black and white. Uh, feels like a long road. But I'm not really sure I'm ready to blaze down that trail just yet. I think that's why I'm always a little resistant to shoot it. I'm not ready to be obsessed by it. Looking at photographers like Van Ho makes me realize how much I have to learn. And how little I've trained my eye to see black and white. Shooting black and white makes me feel like I'm a new photographer all over again. I don't know exactly what my photos will look like. You know, I haven't even attempted to push, pull, or even play around with different colored filters. There's so much that I have to learn, and yeah, it's interesting feeling like a new photographer all over again, not knowing exactly what my photos are going to look like. Um, but it's exciting, and it's challenging, and it's humbling, I think, to feel like a newbie, feel like a beginner. Um, that's how I feel. So this was a spontaneous shoot with a stranger who became a friend. This is Linnea, she's on day 42 of a 100 day road trip, and we happened to be the only two people at this bridge. We were losing light so I knew these shots would be a bit darker, but I like the mood I got out of these photographs. What's up everyone? Um, I wasn't going to mention this, but I think it's important for you to know your rights as a photographer. Um, just a minute ago, after I was done taking that photograph, 
um, I ended up going to the visitor center of that power plant and I got pulled over by security. They just stopped me. Um, I rolled down my window. I said, hey. They asked me what I was doing there, why I was taking photos, that they had gotten a call from somebody saying that I was taking photos. And I knew that I took photos on uh, public property. So I'm, you know, there's nothing wrong with what I was doing. And the security guard was telling me that I shouldn't be taking photos. And when I asked him, I was like, oh, so I can't take photos on public property? And he's like, well, no, but I don't think you should be taking photos. He knew that I did everything right, but he still wanted to control me and tell me I couldn't take photos when I can definitely take photos. And he wants to know where I'm going to be posting the photos, and if I'm going to put them on the internet, all these things um, he doesn't need to know and doesn't have the right to know. Um, of course, he can ask you questions, but you don't have to answer them. And I was super respectful, but I'm not also not going to be controlled, um, especially because he's a security guard. He has a gun slung around his shoulder. I can see the butt of it hanging out of his car while he's talking to me. So it can be a little bit of an intimidating experience having that kind of conversation. But make sure you know your rights and that if you photograph on an, a public area, it's not illegal. And I've had so many people try to tell me that I can't be taking photos or they're going to sue me or they're going to arrest me or something crazy. Um, but just know that if you're on public property, you can take photos. If Google Maps can drive around and take pictures on the street um, everywhere in the world, so can you. Um, so I just want to mention that. Always, you know, I just want to keep it positive, but I just want to let you guys know. Um, always know your rights and don't let someone else intimidate you um, just because they might be a security guard or what have you. And always be respectful to them as well.